What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. In this video, I want to talk about my Obi-Wan Kenobi tips and tricks in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So I kind of want to go over the character of Obi-Wan in this game. I'm going to go over his abilities and talk about what I think are the best ways of using him, what he's used for, and just generally talk about his character. So the first thing to talk about Obi-Wan before we get into the abilities is obviously he's a lightsaber user, and I talked about this with General Grievous in the past too. Um, and obviously lightsaber users come with their own special abilities that, you know, the shooter class or the shooter uh, heroes or villains um, don't have. And that's obviously the ability to block blaster fire. So Obi-Wan is extremely good at this. You know, General Grievous I thought was really cool. Um, when he came out, they made his block so that he doesn't block all the time. He's not the greatest blocker. And that's really cool because, you know, that's kind of, kind of represents his character in the movies and even in the TV shows. Um, whereas Obi-Wan, you know, he's much, much better at this. So this is definitely a top of the line hero in terms of blocking blaster fire. And obviously you're going to be using that not only in heroes versus villains, but you're going to be using that in just the normal galactic assault, anything with just normal troopers as well. So that's obviously very good. But when you get into his abilities, I think Obi-Wan is a better overall character in terms of uh, initially when he released than General Grievous. I think his abilities are made more towards not just the normal troopers, not just normal droids or normal whatever, um, but also heroes and villains. I think he's a much better blend. And I love General Grievous, but I thought when he came out, his abilities were way not good enough for heroes versus villains. I thought he was a pretty weak overall character in Heroes vs. Villains. Obi-Wan, I feel like, fits right in. He gives the hero class now the ability where all four people can wield a lightsaber, which is the first time that we've been able to do that. Um, up until this point, there were three lightsabers. So, now we have four, and that's really, really cool. So, now, now his abilities. Um, his abilities, I think, generally are pretty solid. Now, they're not the most amazing things in the world, except for one. I'm going to talk about all three. Uh, the first one we have is Defensive Rush. So, Defensive Rush, I think, is relatively good. I think Defensive Rush is better in just a Galactic assault better for just normal troops uh, it's an instant hit okay it's an instant kill actually if you hit them so that's very very good and it does bridge a gap now in heroes versus villains that is what I, I would use it for and that's what I've seen undone so many times you know when the new heroes come out it's very very hard to actually play as them I actually got to play as Obi-Wan twice in heroes versus villains uh, but I've, I played against him I can't even count how many times and he's a very very powerful hero and that defensive rush is very powerful it does a good amount of damage it does more damage um, I think that unrelenting advance of General Grievous did um, when that first came out. So I think they kind of took that and said, well, we're going to make Obi-Wan's a, a little bit more powerful right off the get-go. And that is what happened. And I, So, you know, again, this move is a lot like Grievous's move, where it, it's blocking incoming uh, shots. So if you shoot him from the back, that's good. But if you're shooting him from the front, or you're trying to lightsaber hit him from the front, it's not going to work. Um, and it bridges the gap. And it does knock people down if you end up hitting them. So uh, this is a, a pretty powerful move. It's not my favorite move. It doesn't really work on maps that have, you know, kind of narrow pathways. I tried to use it um, in a couple different maps, and then sometimes you just fall right over the edge. Sometimes the game is laggy or doesn't work correctly, which is surprising, right, because it's EA. And uh, you fall over the edge because you can't cancel it soon enough. So, it's a risky move. If you're on, like, a narrow platform versus somebody, I would honestly never use this move. I would just block. I would just try and block. Um, but if you're in a wide open area, or if you're in a galactic assault, you can, ge you can generally use this to kill lots and lots of people. People. The second one is restrictive mind tricks. So I really, really like what this does. And it's a little bit harder to understand, I think. And, you know, when I first saw this mover, I, I, I first knew he had like a mind trick. I thought it would be a lot like Ray's. And it doesn't act like Ray's, which I really like. Ray basically sends the person into just an all out, I don't know what I'm doing mode, right? The character will just move around. Um, you can't really use the abilities. That, you can swing your lightsaber, yeah. Um, but, you know, you're just walking around. If you're on a narrow platform, they'll just walk right off. You know, Obi Wan's does doesn't have that uh, luxury to it, okay? You can't do it in a in a narrow platform or just a platform in general and expect the person to walk off. But if you can get this where they do not block you, if you get this from them um, from behind, which I got done to me multiple times, if you're on a one-on-one -on -one or you're on um, something where the person isn't seeing you before you want to attack them, doing this right from the beginning is one of the best ways to do it because immediately they can't block you. So in terms of heroes versus villains, it eliminates the block and dodge, okay? So they no longer can block or dodge your attacks, and they really can't use their own attacks. Um, for the normal troopers, their attacks actually backfire and hit themselves. Um, for heroes versus villains, you generally just cannot do anything. So, you know, to start the match off, or to start like a battle, a mini battle between Obi-Wan and whatever, you generally want to do this, I think, early on, or I guess as a finisher, but, you know, as long as you can get this unblocked, as long as they do not block your attack in terms of heroes versus villains, this is a fantastic move. It really, it completely lowers their d defense, and you're able 
to attack them. And the third one is All Out Push. Now this one is the best. This one I think is one of the most powerful moves in the entire Star Wars Battlefront 2 game. Okay, I think um, for normal Galactic Assault, for just normal uh, uh, battles, normal troopers, this is an insanely powerful move. Okay, you can really kill a lot of people with this move. It's got a pretty wide radius. It's got a very far radius. Okay, so it's, it's wide and long. You can get your star cards. You can upgrade that as well. So that's really, really good. And this, you know, you can do a lot of damage. Uh, in terms of just the normal troops, it's an instant kill, so you can really, really hurt them. And in terms of heroes versus villains, I actually did very, very good with this, I think. If you get somebody, if you sh if you show up from behind and they don't see you coming with this force push, you can push them a very, very, you can push them farther than I've seen any other, you know, it, it's farther than Luke's push by a mile. Um, so this is a very powerful move. You can knock people off the edge with this. You can just, you know, kind of push them back. Um, I tried to run up one time when, like, it was a 3v1 and I was, like, a person trying to help that person. And that person ended up dying, but I force pushed all three people and, I, you know, I, I, then I went into attack. So this is a very, very powerful move. Um, what I would recommend is doing it all the way. You know, uh, the first day that I was playing against Obi-Wan a lot, people I don't think were using it very good at all uh, against me, I would even say. Um, people were not charging it up. I would always recommend, if you have the opportunity, charge up force push. Try and look for the opportunities where you can sneak up behind somebody so you can get the full thing. And it also does a lot of damage. Even if you're not sending them flying over an edge, it does a lot of damage to them. So even if you're just you know hitting them against a wall, you're still going to do damage. But I would definitely recommend all out, you know, literally all out, just like the move says, force push all the way. Charge it up as far as you can do it and then nail them. That's how you'll get the best results. So guys, let me know in the comments below what tips and tricks would you recommend for Obi-Wan? Do you like the character? Let me know. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Podcast Now. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you on the next one.